I think it's time we talk about the best greatsword. Now, uh, I will argue that Gale's greatsword is probably tied with the Wolf Knight greatsword, but I just think the Wolf Knight, because it's base game, it would probably be number one. Don't what? ask me why. Don't try to argue because I win. No. <laughs> It requires 24 strength, 18 dex, and the weapon art is called Wolf Sword, although it's just a variation on the stance weapon art. Now, since this weapon, I believe, is the best gray sword in the game, it uh, obviously I'm gonna be highly biased about it. I mean, it's it's so good. It's got it's got so much going for it. It can't be buffed. It can't be infused. Although, if you do go with a quality build, it probably has the highest AR of them all. It does do 20% additional damage to Abyssal enemies. And what Abyssal enemies are, are basically like High Lord Walnir, Aldrich, Dragon Slayer, and Dark Midir. Or Dark Eater, Midir. You know, the, the, the boss that's like the world's hardest boss in the world. Yeah, that one. Of course, this weapon comes from the legendary Knight Artorius, which obviously already makes a badass. You need to transpo transpose, I am very good at English, transpose the soul of the blood of the wolf, and trust me, you're gonna want to. Has a double C in scaling after it's fully upgraded, yada yada yada, quality build, you know, all that good shite. Now, let's get into the great things about this weapon. This thing's got hyper armor up the ass, including the weapon art. Now, speaking of that thing, I feel like that's what significantly changes this weapon. You got a, you got double slash, and you got a, well, oh, obviously another slash. <clears throat> wow, those are great. Yeah, I know. But hold on there. You got hyper armor that's significantly boosted with both the weapon arts. And it's kind of cool, because the stance gives you two of them. If you're fighting a lesser skilled opponent, or maybe they just don't have a lot of stamina, or maybe their shield is pretty crap. You, the first R1, which is the double slash, will most likely break their guard, giving you an easy critical. And since that's pretty awesome, but they kind of have to fall for it, or you kind of have to bait them in. If they have a great shield, good luck breaking any kind of guard. The, 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 uh, the slash is like a kind of a crush. But in order to actually hit that, for one, your opponent either has to be really fucking stupid, or you gotta time it and aim it, and it, it's so hard. Now, in order to make it not so horrible, it it has a um, stun. Nice I want to say lag, it like bro. hits them without doing damage uh, before the sword actually hits. So it's not complete garbage, and you're most likely to hit it if you hit that stun. But, good luck trying to hit it, because if they roll to the side or forward, you're never going to hit them a day in your life, no matter how hard you try. So, you got to bait them in, you got to be the smarter player, you can't just go spamming it. But, it does do some massive damage, I will say that. The other interesting thing to note, with a couple of the great swords, the R2s have changed. Well, not the follow-up R2s, but the initial ones, I mean. You got a, you got a huge thrust, you gain massive damage. You gain massive range, Leo ring one shot, some bitches, do whatever you want. Uh, the follow up attack to that is just a standard slash, which is kind of, I mean, it's okay. The two handed R2 is a very slow wind up, even if you just, you don't charge it up. It's, it's super slow, but it, if you hit somebody with it, again, you're going to do massive damage, no matter how much armor they have, how much health they have. Whether it's fully charged or not, obviously you want to fully charge it for that extra OP beast ass damage. But to be serious, it's it's pretty insane. I love this great sword, the best great sword in the game, hands down. Comes close with Gales, but I think this one outshines it just a little bit more because you don't yes. have no stupid weapon art combos. No, no do it at R1 and L2 and another R1, you know. This one actually kind of takes skill to use. I know, man. Skill. That, that word nobody ever uses. And I just noticed I've been talking throughout this entire video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound like a complete doof doing these, but as soon as I get done with these great swords, I'm moving on to something more practical, more fun. If you guys do want me to keep doing these, just 
please let me know somehow. It doesn't really matter as long as you tell my dumb ass and I'll be like, hey, wow. okay, I see people want to do this, so I'm going to do some more. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shite, and I'll catch you in the next one. for a sign. You're fucking looking for a sign, aren't you? <laughs>